jockey Ryan Moore, who's ridden Whistle Jacket to success in the July Stakes, which this year was sponsored by the Kingdom of Bahrain. Of course, the Bahrain Trophy, one of the longest standing sponsorships here at Newmarket. Really pleased to welcome Sheikh Salman to the show. Uh, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who is the uh, representative of the uh, of the High Commission of the Bahrain Turf Club for International Affairs. Wonderful to see you, Sheikh Salman, and great to be back here in Newmarket. I know this is one of your favourite trips of the year. Yeah, thank you for having me, Nick. Yeah, it's um, it's amazing to be back. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to uh, launch our international calendar for 2024-25. Uh, um, and uh, uh, this year, the uh, uh, Group 2 Bahrain International is going to be on the 15th of November. Uh, we were very happy with the success of the race last year. Uh, it was nice to see Spirit Dancer for Sir Alex Ferguson and uh, um, uh, trainer Shafahi. I mean, that was huge last year, wasn't it? Was, it? I mean, the, the publicity that garnered for Bahrain and then to see him go on and win in, in Saudi Arabia. So exactly. Uh, yeah, he went on and uh, won the group to uh, Neom uh, Turf in Saudi. Uh, and as you mentioned, uh, you know, it was uh, it was huge uh, uh, for Bahrain, uh, and we're very happy for uh, the connections. Uh, that I think Sir Alex had a good time as well. I'm sure he did. <laughs> yeah, and 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 as you you know, you've been you've been involved since day one. Um, you've seen the, the the quality and 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 uh, um, you know, the strength of, of racing in the Kingdom of Bahrain in general. Year after year, we've noticed a really good jump in the quality of horses. Um, and um, again, I mean, this year for the Turf Series, which um, will start on the 20th of December uh, and is going to run through till the 6th of March. Uh, we've added two more races uh, on the Turf Series, uh, so up from 10 races to 12 races. Um, uh, $100,000 uh, uh, worth, $100,000 each, uh, and that brings up the total uh, prize money to uh, $1 million. Uh, it's it's an amazing, I think, opportunity for trainers, um, you know, to, to come and and uh, be part of the Turf Series. And and I'd like to mention, I mean, the our major races uh, fall in the same period, um, like uh, His Majesty the King's Cup, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup, and El Mithaq Cup. Uh, these are the top races in the kingdom. So some of the horses can, you know, if they develop, they like the ground, they can go on to be part of these very prestigious races. Which is, I know, absolutely crucial for you to develop the whole program. But there, there is something very special about the, the International Race Day in November. It, it comes as part of a, a sequence of international races that have an awful lot of publicity after the Breeders' Cup and the Melbourne Cup, of course. Now, you're wearing the 25 badge, which, as you reminded me, is because it's the 25th anniversary of the year that His Majesty the King acceded to the throne in Bahrain. Now, I'm guessing the kingdom is full of celebrations this year, big jubilee year. Absolutely. Um, so all, all through the year uh, up to December, uh, there's festivals going on uh, to celebrate the occasion, which is a great occasion. And will that be reflected in the International Race Day in November? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, it's going to be part of it um, and, and it's going to be a big race. And will he be there, His Majesty? Well, yeah, well, yeah, we really hope you know, he would be. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. Now, yeah. of course, members of the ruling family are doing tremendously well in terms of ownership in the UK this season. I mean, Isle of Jura has got a right shot in the King George after that hard week win, of course, in the victorious colours. And it's Aina Sheikh Issa, of course, we know all about economics. He's sick of me talking about economics now, as is William Haggis. But to what extent does that give people in Bahrain a bit of a kick that the horses are doing well over here and increase the interest in, in racing globally? As you mentioned, it, it does a lot. I mean, it's really nice to see Bahraini owned horses uh, performing well. I mean, Isle of Jura, he's won all the top races in Bahrain last season. Uh, he came back and won the festival stake uh, at Goodwood and went on to win the hard work group to at Royal Ascot, which is, which is amazing to see. And, and I'd like to congratulate His Highness Sheikh Nasser, trainer George Scott for, for the achievement. Um, and as you mentioned, economics, winning the uh, Dante Stakes. Uh, it was uh, great to see, and I'm sure there's more to come uh, from him. And, and not to forget, I mean, on Saturday, uh, there are two horses representing the Kingdom of Bahrain, uh, Van Dijk for uh, KHK Racing and Sheikh Khalid, and Jusur uh, 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 for Mohammedia Racing. Uh, Van Dijk won uh, the um, Middle Park uh, Stakes Group 1, um, and Jusur uh, just uh, placed uh, third in the Commonwealth Cup. They're both in with a very good chance, and I wish them all the best of luck in the race. Wishing you the best of luck, Sheikh Salman, with the season ahead in Bahrain, the Turf Series and the International. Looking forward to seeing you there. Thanks Thank so much. You. Thank you very much.